Ladies and gentlemen, Ingrid is almost here. Yeah, and we tested her damage and she's absolutely terrifying. As always, this was filmed on test server, but today's video is gonna be a little bit different. Yeah, that's because based off a suggestion that Slate gave us, we're going to be using from now on this gear set right here to test every single character that we have in any of these damage testing videos so that you can get a nice consistent number throughout all our videos. Only with a few exceptions, of course, because every now and then there are heroes that you don't want to use that kind of gear set on. So on the guild boss first, the thing is that she may seem like a very complicated character, but I feel like especially at the end of this video, you guys should have a really good understanding of how she works. The thing is, she's got two modes. She's got stellar mode, which is single target, and she's got solo mode, with his, which is AoE. And right now, we're going to focus on the single target since we're doing guild boss. Alright, so the thing is that when you first put her down, she is in AoE mode, right? You have to use her ult because the only thing her ult does is swap between either AoE mode or single target mode. So this is what her range looks like when she's dealing single target damage. And the thing is that every fifth attack she does in single target, she activates Star Shower, which pretty much gives her a 50% damage increase for the next and 12 hits, right? but it gets even spicier because every time you trigger Star Shower, you get one point. And every point you get, you get a 5% increase in your damage. But when you reach five points, you hit her version of an ultimate, which in single target is called Stellar Overload, and it gives her an increased attack for, uh, by 30% for 20 seconds. So the last little bit here on single target is that every time she does the star shower move, which is every fifth attack, she has a 25% chance of inflicting burning and a 25% chance of inflicting radiant erosion, which obviously radiant erosion would, is truly fantastic if you have someone like Pope on your team or even Jara on your team. The scary part here is that she out damaged Silas, Hex, and even Pope and they're all using the same gear and their best in slot artifact. Keep in mind though that the gear that we have on Pope is not ideal, so if you were to put better gear in, on him, he might be able to do a little bit better. All that being said though, Valdron did a lot more damage, especially when we used Carnelian with him instead of Vortex. We also did some testing on Artifact Material Raid, and I think the results are pretty much the same. So moving on to Gear Raid 1 here, the thing is that her Solar Mode is pretty much has the exact same rules as her Stellar Mode, but it's just AoE damage. So for instance, every fifth attack she does, she does a Solar Flare which deals 320% AoE damage up to 15 enemies, which is huge. So the thing that's great about her AoE mode, especially in Gear Raid 1, is that beautiful range. And God knows what other future content that range is going to be useful for. Um, what you got to keep in mind though is, just like with the single target, every fifth attack she's going to have her special attack. In this case, like I said before, is going to be a solar flare. And whenever she does that five times, she is going to get these, her ultimate, her AoE ultimate, which will allow her to attack 25, relatively 25% faster for the next 20 seconds. So her passive here is when things start to get kind of spooky with AoE, uh, because every fifth attack, every solar flare, she is going to deal 150% extra true damage based on her attack which is which is like astounding and um what you got to keep in mind though is her lord skill is not going to be as game breaking as pope's is though because it's really just a general damage bonus and healing bonus for the people within her faction so we tested her against two of the best AoE characters for Gear Raid 1, and we also put exactly the timestamps for how long they actually lasted in each match. And what's terrifying here is how much she outdamaged them by. 
And for the last part of this video, let's actually talk about how cool she looks. Yeah, she is, I think, the coolest looking character. She's super dope. In the entire game. Yeah. She is awesome. And even though she looks very close to the lady from Basic Instinct. Very close. Uh, <laughs> the thing is, especially with her like mega cool cutscene, I feel like we gotta give Moonton some props here. Like, yeah. It's just the coolest. So, not gonna lie, after all this testing, it feels pretty clear to us that calling her the best new hero is actually very justified. Because not only is she able to do extremely high level damage to single target, but she's able to do the same to AoE. It's just, I don't know, I don't really see her having any competition. And the fact that you can switch it literally on a dime, you can make her do whatever position, whatever thing you want her to do, she can do it without any problems. And she's a lord on top. I feel like Pope has really got some competition. If you enjoy our style of videos, we would really, really appreciate if you would subscribe. Yeah, and uh, that all being said, thanks for getting to the end of this video, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.